that's fine. Thank you, YouTube, uh, Google, that whole complex of alphabet soup. They've got their own, uh, they got their own way of looking at things, and that's okay. God's got his way of looking at things, and your day of judgment is coming too. Yeah, all right. Praise the Lord. All right, well, for those of you who are going to be watching this recording later, we, uh, we're starting every morning with live worship now, and I invite you to come and join us on Zoom. I've heard many of you over the over the months and over the years now i can actually say over the years we're almost at two years yeah many of you have said i didn't even know how to get near you live i just discovered it one day because i heard you say it so let me say it again if you wish to join us on this live call all you need to do is go if you're in america you go to decreeforamerica.com if you're in canada you go to decreeforcanada.com if you're in some other part of the world, you go to decreeforthenations.com. But in truth, you can go to any one of those because all of those go to exactly the same place. And you go to decreeforcanada.com and you will see a button that says, join the live Zoom call. We go live every morning at 7.45 Pacific Standard Time. For those on the East Coast, that's 10.45 uh, Eastern Standard Time. And in the other parts of the world, just put in New York or Toronto and sync your clock to that and that's what time we are going live all right you are welcome to join us here we have capacity for the multitudes and so you are welcome and if you've never known how to come and join us live you are welcome to come and do this every day uh, Monday to Friday all right now I see many of you also click the links and you try to join us on Saturdays and Sundays no we go to we go we we run a service five days a week and we go to war five days a week and then it's time to rest so that the so that the the battalion are ready once again monday morning to take the weekend as their time of refreshing to get back on the battlefield monday morning so bless each and every single one of you come and join us live this is how you do it and uh, i'll just continue to make reminders for the next few days so that people know how to find us and uh, to my new friend in uh, Arkansas, so glad, Linda Griffiths, that you have found us and you have found us how to join us live. These are the days of Elijah declaring the word of the Lord. And these are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness. Oh, it's being restored. And these are the days of great trial. Yes, we see one in New York today of famine and darkness and sword. Still, we are the voice in the desert crying, prepare ye the way of the Lord. <clears throat> Behold, he comes riding on the clouds, shining like the sun at the trumpet's call. Lift your voice. It's the year of Jubilee. And out of Zion's hill, salvation comes. These are the days of Ezekiel, dry bones becoming as flesh, and these are the days of your servant David re rebuilding the temple of praise. These are the days of great harvest. The fields are as white of your world, and when we and we are the laborers in your vineyard, declaring the word of the Lord. Behold, he comes riding on the clouds, shining like the sun at the trumpet's call. Lift your voice. It's the year of jubilee, and out of Zion's hill, salvation comes oh there is no god like jehovah no there is no god like jehovah no there is no god like jehovah there is no god like jehovah behold he comes riding on the clouds shining like the sun at the trumpet's call lift your voice it's the year of J jubilee and out of zion's hill oh salvation comes well let's blow the trumpet this morning and get this session underway thank you father god thank you lord for all all that you were doing just a short blast this morning and lord we thank you father this morning this sitting of the ecclesia is now officially in session on this rock he is building his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it in the name of jesus christ amen hallelujah hallelujah well Wow, where did I do it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I had all kinds of things ready to go. And uh, give me one second here. Here it is. I just put it underneath here. So in alignment with this. For behold, the day is coming. Behold, the day is coming. It's burning like an oven and all the proud. Yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble. 
And the Lord just showed me this morning. He said it kind of yesterday. I heard it again as clear as day this morning that everything that's happening in New York right now needs to happen because when trials begin, then there has to be depositions and there must be discovery healing hearings. And what will be discovered about his accusers? Oh my goodness, it will burn them up, burning like a hot oven in the proud. Yes, the proud. All of you who have done wickedly will burn up like stubble. He says, I take all things and I work them for good for those who love me and are called according to my purposes. And you can say anything you want to say about Trump and his followers. I would call myself one. Now I'm a follower of Jesus Christ, not a disciple of Donald Trump. But I thank you, Father God, that your hand of anointing is upon him. And all the proud, all who do wickedly will be stubble. And the day is coming, uh, shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that will leave them neither root nor branch. But you who fear my name, for the Son of Righteousness will rise with with healing in his wings, and you shall go out fat like stuff, it's like stall fed calves, and you shall trample the wicked. Oh, they shall be like ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this. Malachi 4 1 to 3. And you are watching this play out right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, God. These are the days of Elijah. These are the days of Ezekiel. These are the days of Malachi. These are the days of the fulfillment of the kingdom of God coming to the earth. We, now get this through your heads, you are sons and daughters of the Most High God. Do you understand that? This is not a fanciful notion. This is not wishful thinking. The creator of heaven and earth says to you today, you are my son. You are my daughter. You are the heirs of my promise. You are righteousness in my sight. You are royalty before me. You are kings, queens, and priests in my kingdom. And my kingdom has come. And you will see its government expand. And to its end, there shall not be in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's all playing out right now. And what's happening in New York must happen in New York. And the Lord says, I will never bring you anything that you cannot withstand. That's why you're not on trial. That's why I'm not on trial. They chose Donald Trump to be the head of this whole thing because he can stand it. He can withstand it. He's got the finances to withstand it. And they're going to pay for what they've done. And we are the we are the generation that shall see the bankruptcy of the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Yes, Lord. All right. Well, let's get the armor of God upon us and make our decrees this morning and see where the Lord leads us. Oh, Lord, I thank you that you are gracious to us as we wait upon you. Wait upon you as we press into you, God. Oh, you're our strength in the morning. You're our salvation in times of trouble. That's Isaiah 33. Lord, you made this day. Oh, this is a brand new day. It's a brand new moment in time. Three minutes from now is another brand new moment in time. Help us to make the choices that shape the future of the destiny you would have us walk into, Lord. This is not a happenstance life by the power of our tongue. Life and death is the power of your tongue, and those who love it will eat the fruit of it. Love life, love life, speak life, speak the promises. Do not speak the chaos you see. You speak against it. You speak light, life, and love into the darkness, and that is the future you shall walk into. Life and death is in the fruit of the tongue and those who love it will eat the fruit of it. Oh, the tongue, it is the most powerful muscle in the entire body. The smallest part of the ship is that which steers it. And I thank you, Father God, that you have given us the ability to exercise that which we use this rudder for in the name of Jesus Christ. This is your day. You made it. It's a brand new start, a fresh start right here, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you got out of bed mumbling, grumbling, and complaining, you get a fresh start right here this very moment you turn on it you say listen Lord I'm so sorry for my mumbling I'm so sorry for my grumbling I'm so sorry for my complaining I turn my back on it now and I give myself wholly and fully over to you again Jesus Christ thank you as I breathe in my future 
Oh, I let go. I, I exhale my destiny now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every moment is a brand new moment to make a fresh set of choices. And what happened this morning before your fit hit the floor, it does not determine the rest of this day unless you allow it to. Oh, Lord, this is your day. You made it. We rejoice and we are glad in it. Save us, we pray. Save us from ourselves, we pray. Oh, we beseech you, God. Come now and cause us to prosper. Oh, thank you, Lord that you have armed us with strength for the battle. You have subdued our enemies beneath us, and you make our enemies retreat before us. But, oh, it doesn't look like they're retreating because you haven't seen the full wrath of God come down upon those who have been. He's setting the stage. Listen, the battle does not begin with a nuclear bomb. The, the, the battle begins with a couple warning shots that go off over the bow, and the warning shots have been fired in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Well, the Lord says again this morning, as he does every morning, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Oh, let that one rest upon you this morning. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. He didn't say be strong in your muscles. He didn't say be strong even though you haven't been to the gym in 17 years. He didn't say be strong in your own willpower. He said be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, not yours. Oh, thank you, Lord. Put on all of God's armor so that you'll be able to stand firm against every strategy of the devil. For we are not fighting flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities in the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Oh, therefore, put on the full armor of God, so when the day of evil comes, you will be able to stand your ground, and after you've done everything, oh, you'll still be standing. Yes, you'll still be standing. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, and with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fixed with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Yes, Lord, we will, in addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. The word of God, get it in you, get it on you, get it around you. The shield of faith. Yes, Lord, we pick it up. You said it, you meant it, I believe it. You said it, you meant it, I believe it. You said it, I meant it, I believe it. It will not come near me or my house in the name of Jesus Christ. With that blessed plate, pressed plate, prayed of light and righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish every flaming arrow of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the very word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. And with this in mind, stay alert and keep on praying for the saints. Lord, we lift up Donald Trump this morning. We lift up his legal team this morning. We lift up his family this morning. And I thank you for a hedge of protection around him that is six miles thick and 12 miles high this morning. That there is no fiery dart of the enemy that shall come near him. Lord, I ask you to equip his legal team with strategies that they have haven't even thought of from the courts of heaven, straight from the courts of heaven, strategies to use in the courts of earth that expose the wickedness, the vileness, the double standardness, oh, the hypocrisy of this whole thing, Father. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. You do this this morning. <laughs> So, Father God, this morning we put on the full armor of you, our God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today we strap on your full armor to guard our lives against every single attack as we rise up in our third heaven authority. Together we dislodge demonic assignments that have been set against us. We break every strategy that has been set against us. We dismantle their communication structures. We ask the heavenly host to come now and dismantle their communication structures because it is they who control the narrative up until this point, and we say your day of control of the narrative is done this day forward we control the narrative we tear down we dismantle your structures and just as they've perverted the thought process of the say, people of this earth to this moment in time today lord we declare broadcast centers of truth be re-erected to bring the thinking of your people back into alignment with your word yes we tear down every stronghold we plead the blood of jesus over ourselves and over every 
every perverse antichrist agenda that has come against the people of God and those who don't even know you yet. <clears throat> we strap on the belt of truth to protect us against every lie and every deception. We strap on the breastplate of righteousness to protect our hearts from the temptations we battle. <laughs> We strap on the gospel of peace upon our feet and we shatter chaos, taking your light wherever you send us this day. Lord, we choose to walk by faith in the peace and the freedom of your spirit and we will not be overcome with fear or anxious thoughts. No, Lord, no, we will not. We take up your shield of faith that extinguishes every dart, every threat hurled our way by the enemy and we believe in your power to protect us and we choose to trust in you. Do you choose to trust him this morning? Tell him, I choose to trust you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we trust you wholly, fully, completely, unabashedly, uncompromisingly. We strap on the helmet of salvation that covers our minds and our thoughts and reminds us that we are your children. We are fully forgiven and we are set free and saved by the grace of Jesus Christ. We strap on the sword of the Spirit, your very word, the one offensive weapon given to us for battle, which has the power to demolish strongholds because it's alive, because it's active, and it's sharper than any double-edged sword. Lord, we will speak your word again this morning and we will take down more linchpins. We will take down more strongholds. And this morning, we take another shattering into the kingdom of darkness today. And as Trump fights it out in New York, and the White Hats fight it out in Ukraine, and we fight it out here on this declaration call, their structures are weakening all the way around the board, all the way around the board, all the way around the world, Lord. And I thank you, Father God, that this voice now goes out to the nations, and we declare them being set free in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord. We never fight alone, for it is you constantly work on our behalf, subduing our enemies, shielding, protecting, and strengthening us, exposing every deed of darkness, and shining light on every single thing that needs to be known. Lord, thank you for covering us from every cruel attack we face, even if we're unaware of them. Now, just because he, he protects us from every cruel attack, we may see it, but it will not have effect on you unless you come into agreement with it. And we will not come into agreement with it. We rise up and we say, no! No, no, you can't have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that we never fight alone. You are constantly at work on our behalf, subduing our enemies, shielding, protecting, strengthening us, exposing every deed of darkness, shining light on every single thing that needs to be known and covering us from every single cruel attack. I tell you, we got to say no to it. 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 And it will not come near with you. The only way it can get a hold on you is if you come into agreement with it. Quit watching the news and don't come into agreement with it. I, mean, I don't know what I listen I say so many things and I don't know where I say them and I don't know if I said it on this call yet or I don't I don't know if I only said it into the alpha groups but I'm going to tell you something since this new decree which we're about and listen there's been lots of warfare over the last 22 months okay I can promise you there's been lots of warfare that have been waged in this room not just publicly in front of you but there's been backlash for a lot of what we've done I mean we've gone after everything in the spiritual realm I've gone after UN troops I've gone after NATO troops I've confronted oh. Chinese military officers I mean listen and this is not about me I'm just I'm, I'm setting this up to share something with you okay I want you to understand something here again like always this is not about hey look at me look at me but unfortunately i'm the one that's in the middle of the story so this is the only metaphor that i can use for all of this the warfare has been intense i mean leviathan himself came slithering through my kitchen wow i tell you the truth hang on i'm gonna hit the mute all button and then i'm gonna continue this all right but the good news is he says stand firm against every strategy of the evil one and you'll still be standing Leviathan came through my kitchen. I'm still standing. You're still standing. This latest decree, those of you who've been journeying with us for a while, it came out in stages. And for a while, he even prevented me from writing it, but he gave me stages, stages, stages. And then a week ago, 10 days ago, whenever it was, he finally released to me to write the final piece and it all came together in 45 minutes after wrestling with it for six weeks. <clears throat> now, everything in my perfect timing, everything in my perfect way, not your perfect timing, Howard, not your perfect timing, Teresa, in my perfect timing, says the Lord God Almighty, in my perfect timing. Now, sit down and write, whoosh, and it just came flowing out. This decree 
You'll hear it, you've already heard it, is a body blow to the kingdom of darkness when we decree it and declare it fully believing every word of it is true because we are doing nothing but quoting the word of God in a synchronized fashion to destroy the kingdom of darkness. Well, I'll tell you what, it was joy when it came out. I read it once and then the wave of opposition, the oppression came into this house. Those of you who are on our Alpha, Super Saturday, Super Holy Spirit Saturday. I mean, it was breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. Oh, my goodness. It was so good, so rich. Well, I tell you what, you know, after that Super Saturday was done, the adrenaline was still running in here. After I shut down the entire live stream, we've been warring for months and months and months and months. And then this new decree comes out and we warred and contended for that. And then we warred and contended for all the technology issues we had in putting together a Super Saturday to be able to do it into a live stream over a multitude and break them into discussion groups. I'm telling you, this is not an easy thing. It isn't just as simple as just clicking a couple buttons. I had to fight for that. And we fought for it and we won and we saw the victory. And Michaela and I came out of here singing and dancing and praising God and giving high fives, riding the high of the victory won by Jesus Christ. And as the energy started coming down, then the wave of oppression came. I tell you what, if you go read the account of Elijah after his showdown with Baal and the prophets of Baal, the greatest victory of his entire career as a prophet. And he instantly went into depression, ran and hid in a cave. Well, I tell you, that's exactly what happened to me Saturday afternoon. All the warfare, all the riding high. And this wave, this wave of deep, dark, thick, ugly, disgusting depression came on me. Who do you think you are? Well, the thing is, it came. I rest, I began to recognize it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I ain't giving into this. Nope. Get out of here. You can't have me. Now, it wasn't instant. It didn't instantly leave. It didn't instantly lift. I had to press in and then I had to go to war for that. And it took me, I mean, listen, if the, if the Super Saturday was over at 1 32 o'clock Vancouver time, it rolled all the way through the night. I went to bed super early that night. I woke up Sunday morning and it was still on me. And I just cranked up the worship music in this house and I chose to sing, even though I didn't feel like singing. And I said, nope, I will not go to the cave. No, I will not hide. No, I will sing to the Lord my God, and you got to get out of here now. And I tell you what, within 45 minutes, the whole thing lifted and broke, and it was back to joyful Howard Olson all over again. Why am I sharing this with you? Thank you, Lord. You are constantly at work on our behalf, shielding us, protecting us, strengthening us, protecting us from the battles we face, even the ones we're unaware of. But it takes your participation. You want to break it? You got to stand up and praise against it. You got to stand up and say no to it. No, 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 no. <clears throat> and I am absolutely convinced that he allows me to experience these things so that I can tell you these stories to bring them as an edification back to you. This is your strategy. Praise him, say no, recognize it, catch it early and say, no, you can't have it. Regret starts saying, no, nope. this is the day the Lord has made and I get a brand new fresh start right here, right now, this very moment. I am a highly favored child of God. I am saved by his grace. Beat it. Depression starts to come. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. I am a highly favored child of God. See, I've got this thing right here. God, who are you? I know who I am. I am God's child. I am Christ's friend. I am united with the Lord. And I've had a lot of people write to me that say, man, that thing really helped me get out of something. But I've had an equal number of people write to me. I keep declaring that every single day and it's doing nothing for me. I said, because you're reading it, but you're not believing it. You can do nothing to please him without faith. You either believe it or you don't believe it. See, I can encourage you. I can breathe exhortation upon you. I can encourage you. I can try to embolden you. I can instruct you. But I can't believe for you. Only you can do that. 
And I want to encourage you to get this stuff deep inside of you. We are living in the greatest days. And even though we're about to secure a, the greatest victory, in fact, I'm not about to, this victory has already been secured. He sees the end from the beginning and the beginning from the end and the victory has already been won. We are fighting from victory, not for it. But all I got to do is take you back to Genesis 4, verse 12 or something like that. Cain, Cain. Do what's right, and all will be well with you. But remember, sin is always crouching at the door. What is that? The temptations, the lies, the threats, the taunts of the devil, they're always crouching at the door. And you must subdue it. God didn't say, I would subdue it for you. I've given you everything you need to subdue it. Say no to it, and don't come into agreement with it. It's already there in the very first book of the entire Bible. And then it's over and over and over and over and over again. You must subdue it. You're a king on this earth. You're a queen on this earth. I had, I listen, I, I can promise you this is for somebody today because I had no inkling of these thoughts this morning as I was pulling a razor across my face and getting ready for this morning. Lord needs, somebody needs to hear this today. This isn't a word of harsh judgment. This is a word of exhortation. You got to get this stuff inside of you. I can bring it to you. I can show it to you. I can even prepare documents and make them available for download for you. Believe it or not, I work tirelessly for you. Well, I do it for him. I work tirelessly for him. And he's asked me to bring it before you. But the part that you got to do, I can't do for you. The part that you got to do, he won't do for you. You can't do it without me, but I won't do it without you. Grab on to the truth of my word. Say no to it. You are already free. Say no. And when you feel that wave of oppression come in, I'm telling you, I felt it was like the thickest fog rolling off the East Coast. I felt it. It was real. But as it began rolling in, it was like, nope, nope. You ever burnt something in the kitchen and left your house full of smoke and then you opened up the doors and turned on a fan to try to get it out? Well, all of those things worked. It got it out. But it all didn't just dissipate out of the atmosphere the second you opened your door. It took a while for the wind to come in and blow behind it to get the rest of it out. That's what this oppression looks like. And you must recognize when it's there, open the door and speak to it, get out. And it, it, it will go. I hope this, I, ho I really hope this is landing on somebody this morning. But I pressed in and I'm telling you, it was so thick. It was trying to smother me. Because it doesn't like what we're doing here. And it doesn't like that I lead this every day. I just, no, no. And it wasn't instant. It didn't lift in a snap of a finger. It took about 12 hours, maybe more. But when it was gone, oh my goodness, it was glorious. And I, wanna, I just want to encourage you with this. Stand on his word. Speak it. You've got everything you need. Oh, I don't know his word. Well, get into it. Get it in you. In the meantime, there is a whole compendium of resources and documents that have been put into the download folder on our websites, which I've typed up for you. Use them. But you got to get your right. You got to get your thinking right. You got to get your spirit right. You got to get your soul right. If he said it, he meant it. And if he meant it, you got to start believing it. Because if you're just reading words, hoping that there's some magic potion, we don't serve a God of magic and we don't serve a God of potions. We serve the king of the universe, the creator of all of it. And he's given us every weapon we need to live the victorious life. And if you don't know where to find them, we've made several of them available to you. But you got to believe that the king of glory loves you with everything inside of him. And he's given you everything you need. And all you got to do is believe it. We can instruct you, we can equip you, but we can't believe for you. Do you believe?
Do you believe his word is true? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who this is for. It's none of my business who this is for, but the Lord has told me this is for someone this morning. So praise God. Smile. Give him a shout. Give him a shout. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you love me enough that you would get a word straight to me, that he would arrest this call. And listen, I got all my agenda items here, okay? So we flow in the Holy Spirit. Most days I don't even do it, but every morning I make myself a little list. Okay, here's what we're going to do today. And some days we do. (laughs) He loves you so much that he would single you out. Stop everything that was planned to get a message to you. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. I worship your holy name. I'll sing like never before. Oh my soul. I worship your holy name. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Whoa, I got the Holy Spirit shivers all over that. All right. I know, I know, now I know for sure we did everything he wanted done in this little piece right here. That was for someone here today. Praise God. Just thank him. Just say, just don't even turn your mic on. We don't need to know who you are. We don't want to know who you are. This is between you and him. Just turn off your mic and say, God, thank you. Thank you for getting that to me. I will walk in your ways. And I thank you for the tools that you have given me. I use them today. Jesus, you said it. Jesus, you meant it. Jesus, I believe it. And Jesus, I'm going to do it. Jesus, you said it. Jesus, you meant it. Jesus, I believe it. Jesus, I'm going to do it. One more time. Jesus, you said it. Come on. Jesus, you meant it. Come on. Jesus, I believe it. Come on. Jesus, I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Now we are on Psalm 68 today, and I think it's going to fall in line with everything. It's just just amazing what he does every single morning. (laughs) Shout joyful praises to God, all the earth. Wow. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Look at you lined everything right up. Oh, shout joyful praises to God. All the earth, shout them out. Sing about, sing about the glory of his name. Tell the world how glorious he is. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds? All right. There was an instruction. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds? Oh God, how awesome are your deeds? Like if you read this with the right eye and with the right spirit and you say, Lord, I'm going to pick up your word. Speak to me and help me to see what you want me to see. It's written. There's instructions throughout all of it. Say to the Lord, how awesome are your deeds? Okay, Lord, how awesome are your deeds? I speak this to you now. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Yes, your enemies cringe before your mighty power, Lord. Yes, they do. Everything on earth will worship you, including me. They will sing your praises, shouting your name in glorious songs. Come and see what our God has done. What awesome miracles he performs for people. He made a dry path through the Red Sea and his people went across on foot. Wow. Oh, there we rejoiced in him. For by his great power, he rules forever. He watches every movement of the nations. How many? Every. He watches every movement of the nations and let no rebel rise in defiance. Well, they have risen in defiance and they're about to meet their maker. Let the whole world bless our God and loudly sing his praises. Our lives are in the hands and he keeps our feet from stumbling. Oh, you've tested us, God, but you have purified us like pure silver. You have captured us in your net and laid the burden of slavery on our backs. But then, but then you put a leader over us. We went through the fire, we went through the flood, and you brought us to a place of great abundance. We right now are on the, in the middle of the fire and the flood, and he's taken us into the place of great abundance as we speak to the earth. Oh, Lord, I'm going to read that again. Oh, then you put a leader over us. We went through the fire and the flood, but you brought us to a place of great abundance. Thank you, Lord, this morning. You are taking us to the place of the greatest abundance, the likes of which this earth has never known. 
Oh, now I come to your temple with burnt offerings to fulfill the vows I made for you. Let fiery words come off your lips and offer it up as a praise offering, a sacrifice to him. Let that be your burnt offering this morning. Oh, Lord, thank you to fulfill your vows I made you. Yes, the sacred vows I made when I was deep in trouble. That is why I'm sacrificing burnt offerings to you. Oh, the best of my rams is a pleasing aroma, a sacrifice of bulls just as male goats. And you know, listen, bulls and rams are expensive when you're in in an an agrarian society. And what do they do? They bring him their rams and their bulls. And then he blesses them and gives them more, far more than that which they sacrificed. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he did for me. For I cried out to him for help, praising him as I spoke. If I had not confessed the sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But listen, oh, but God did listen. He paid attention to my prayer. Praise God who did not ignore my prayer or withdraw his unfailing love for me. He will never, he will never undraw uh, undraw his, his unfailing love from you. He will never take it away. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. He will use these things that come against us to pull out these spiritual weapons, to go into training, to know how to rise victorious. And he just continues to take us higher and higher and higher and higher from glory to glory. And this is how it works. We can't rise to a new glory if we didn't put it under our feet and we couldn't put it under our feet. What was behind us if it didn't first come against us, from glory to glory, from glory and from age to age, he reigns and we come right alongside him. We, the people of God, this very day, in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you were doing here today. My goodness, Father. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got the armor of God upon us. Lord, we lift up our Canada. We lift up our America, and we lift up your Israel. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Oh, America. Oh, America, our home and native land. Oh, Israel. Oh, Israel, God's home and native land. True patriot love in all thy sons command. With glowing hearts, we see thee rise. We are the true north, strong and free. With glowing hearts, we are. We see thee rise. Oh, the home of the brave, strong and free. One nation under God. Oh, with glowing hearts, we see you. People of God, nation of God. True, strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, from far and wide, O America, from far and wide, O Israel, we stand on guard for thee. God, we call out to you this morning, keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, O America, O nations, O Israel, we this morning make a proclamation and a declaration into the atmosphere today. We stand on guard for thee and with the armor of God upon us, nothing, nothing, nothing can stand against. O ruler supreme who hears our humble prayer, hold our dominion, hold our republic, hold your nation, God. It's your nation in thy loving care. Help us to find, O God, in thee the lasting rich reward as we wait upon the better day we ever stand on guard oh canada oh america oh nations we stand on guard for thee oh israel oh america oh canada we stand on guard for thee and we will not let up thank you father god for the privilege of making declarations, speaking your word, the sword of the spirit over our nations today. It goes out and it never returns void. It always accomplishes that for which it was sent. So today, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we send forth these words, fully believing that it shall accomplish everything for which it was sent this very day. King Jesus, we turn to you and we fully give you our hearts, proclaiming your sovereignty over Israel, Canada, America, and the nations. We decree and declare that you alone are God and we are your covenant people. The earth is yours and the fullness thereof the highest heavens lord they belong to you but the earth you've given it to us your mankind so we declare that from this day forward we exercise our dominion mandate you know what dominion mandate means take your kingship over it take your kingship take your royal stance over the earth that he has given to you this is dominion a king has dominion over his nation well we are the kings and the queens the the heirs the kings and priests of him this day we say lord we take it reestablished that we exercise exercise our dominion mandate reestablished by the finished work of the cross and we take back to subdue and govern that which is ours been ours all along right alongside you our king today we go forth doing exactly what jesus said proclaiming the kingdom of heaven is at hand 
Lord, today we decree and declare Canada, America, Israel, we live in the shelter of the Most High. That's you. We find rest in you, Almighty. You are our God, and we trust in you alone. Your faithful promises are our armor and our protection. There is no evil trap, disease, plot, scheme, or disaster that will touch us. Oh, it can threaten us, but it will not touch us. Oh, we decree and declare that the time has come for us to open our eyes and see how the wicked are punished. For the God of peace is crushing Satan under our feet. <clears throat> he is our helper. Their evil plans are being turned against them. The wicked shall be made like dust under our feet and blotted from our memories. I speak that over everything that's happening in New York, in the Ukraine, at the at, at the NATO, in the UN headquarters. I rebuke the ascension of Finland and Sweden into the United Nations and into the NATO alliance in the name of Jesus Christ. Cause that to crumble and fall. So Lord, now we rise and let us shine and take your light, your word, and your life to shine out of us for all to see. We push back the darkness and decree and declare all nations come into your light. Yahweh, we declare your name as God over our nations now in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> We decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that we stand as an ecclesia, allowing you, our king, to speak and to act through us. We speak light into the darkness. Satan and his prophets of Baal have hijacked and perverted the narrative for far too long. Today, we, we, we rebuke that and we take back the narrative in Jesus' name. God is restoring the earth and his people. This is the narrative. This is the truth. We are neither marching into Antichrist rule nor into tribulation. We are marching into the full revelation of the kingdom of God here on earth as manifested through we, his sons and daughters, for we have been made kings and priests upon this earth. Father, open your portals of glory across the earth, for it is written, Yahweh commanded the skies above and opened the doors of heaven. Pour out your spirit on all flesh and increase the multitude of kingdom people, for it is also written, the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, just as the waters cover the sea. So now it's time, now is the hour for the end time army, both in heaven and on earth to come together and bring forth harvest. We call forth legions upon legions of ministering heirs of salvation as reinforcements to assist we the church. Lord, we expect massive deliverance. Are you expecting massive deliverance? Yes, Lord, we are. We expect massive miracles. Yes, Lord, we do. We expect massive breakthroughs. Yes, God, thank you. We expect you to bring in the billions of souls. We decree it and it's kingdom time. Now we, this ecclesia and the people of God, it's time to align. The Ancient of Days has struck his gavel. The verdict has been rendered. The Son of Man has been given all authority, all honor, all sovereignty over the nations of the world, and we obey him. His rule is eternal, and his kingdom will never be destroyed. That's the truth. That's the narrative. His government and his rule of peace, truth, fairness, and justice, it will never end. That's the truth. That's the declaration. With the lords of heaven's armies, he makes it so. The princes and potentates that have been arrogant against you, Lord, that have promoted murder, evil, oppression, we say, woe unto you, O destroyer who's never been destroyed. <clears throat> woe unto you, O betrayer who's never been betrayed. We decree and we declare that you will reap what you have sown and your day of destruction is here. You are now the destroyed. Like Haman and his sons and followers, your betrayals are now be recoiling back upon yourselves. You are now the betrayed. And you're going to watch this play out over the next several months in New York as their betrayals come back upon their own heads in the name of Jesus Christ. Mark the Lord's words. This is what he says today. You will see it. You're the generation who will see it. So today, we further advance our line in the sand, and we decree and declare that we accept nothing short of total and complete victory for the sons and daughters of the king over every facet of the kingdom of darkness. No ifs, no ands, no buts, just straight ahead victory for the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we, we decree and declare <clears throat> that we are bought by the covenant blood of Jesus Christ and we cannot be cursed. Your ecclesia has risen. Your ecclesia is shining. We are taking our authority over every demonic assignment set against us and our nations. We decree and declare, yes, even the oppression that sometimes comes against, we take our authority over every demonic assignment, your personal ones, the national ones, your city ones, your community ones. Take your authority and command it to stand down and to get lost in the name of Jesus Christ. Quit whimpering. Quit whining. Stand up in the power in the name of Lord God Almighty.
Almighty and tell it to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We are rising. We're shining. We're taking our authority over because the devil wants to come after you because if you come out strong and there's 10,000 of us strong, he's trying to weaken us by the single. Oh, and this is why we stand together here every morning to get strengthened in the Lord, to get re-encouraged in the Lord, to get re-edified in the power of the word of the Lord. For when we stand together, nothing can stand against. He will, the enemy will not pick us off as lone sheep. We are a battalion of kingdom fighters in the name of the Lord, strengthened by his armor, his shield. He is our armor. He is our buckler. He is our shield of protection. And no evil will come near us. But you must speak into the circumstance of your own personal life. And together, strong, we come out and take it down off of our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare evil is being rooted out across Canada, America, Israel. The nations are being reformed. <laughs> We decree and we declare the ecclesia now runs the show. Did you hear it, Satan? We decree and we declare the ecclesia now runs the show. Did you hear me, Satan? We decree and we declare the ecclesia now runs the show right alongside King Jesus. Lion of tribe of Judah is roaring across this earth. Satan and your lackeys, you're on the run. We will not let up, let go, back down or slow down. <clears throat> we will, you have no idea how hard this is on my throat every morning. We will not surrender anything. We will not surrender our families, our communities, our cities, our states, our provinces, our nations. We will not surrender our callings, our faith, our jobs, our schools, or anything else. Oh, in your name, Jesus, we decree and we declare that we arise, that you arise through your people. You arise through your angel armies as we dispatch the warring host. Yes, warring host, we dispatch you now. We dispatch the justice host. Yes, we dispatch you justice hosts now. We dispatch the recompense host. We dispatch you now. And the governmental host, we dispatch you now to shatter and destroy every enemy of the cross, splinter every stronghold of darkness, demolish every throne of wickedness, and help us to restore everything that has been stolen, bringing us fully into the kingdom age. We decree and declare that now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. <laughs> We decree and we declare that evil ones are being thrown out and their day of judgment is here. Oh, it's here. Yesterday was not an indictment against Trump. Oh, that's what it looks like on the surface. Yesterday was an indictment against the kingdom of darkness and it will all recoil back upon them now. This oracle of God has said it and now it comes to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare the evil ones are being thrown out and their day of judgment is here. For the Lord says, now I stand up, now I show my power and might you evildoers and oppressors produce nothing but dry grass and stubble. Your own breath now turns to fire and consumes you. Come on, shout out. Yes, Lord, we agree. This is audience participation time. Yes, Lord, your followers will be burnt up completely. No, Lord, not your followers. The followers of the kingdom of darkness, Lord, their followers will be burnt up completely like thorn bushes cut down and tossed in the fire. For it is written, behold, all who rage against you will be ashamed and disgraced. Yes, Lord, we agree. This is your word. Those who contend with you will be reduced to nothing and perish. Yes, Lord, we agree. This is your word. We will seek them, but we will not find them. Thank you, Lord. Those who wage war against us shall come to nothing. So now, with the Lord at the head, this mighty army shouts. Come on, let's shout it together. The awesome and terrible day of the Lord is here. We'll do it together. The awesome and terrible day of the Lord is here. Come on, let's do it together. The awesome and terrible day of the Lord it is here in the name of the Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ and we call out the swarming locust the hopping locust the stripping locust and the cutting locust onto the battlefield and we say to the nations call out your best warriors get ready for war the Lord calls out his warriors to the pharmaceutical mafia the central bank raiders the global war mongers the one world government tyrants we say you are being driven out into the dry parched wastelands and you'll never be seen again yes Lord this is the word of the Lord that's Joel 2 and we declare this promise is coming to pass this day mighty princes of darkness evil rulers are being thrown from their thrones the day has come the tyrants are being stripped off their horses and plucked from their thrones of power we loose all tyranny off of ourselves now and we bind it up and cast it out in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare the world is being set free the wicked you didn't make it and you don't get to rule it we fully engage with you hell and we beat it oh we will not allow you lucifer to 
have your way by avoiding conflict. No, we would decree and declare that we will confront evil in every satanic plan with boldness and courageousness as we speak the king's words, as we speak the king's ways, as we speak the king's will into our earth. Lord, we command your kingdom come and that your will be done over Israel, Canada, America, and across the earth as it is in heaven. We decree and declare total victory for the sons and the daughters of the king. Satan, you're a liar and you will never outwit God. We decree we have won. You have lost. Satan, you have lost. We have won. Satan, you have lost. We have won. This is our land that you, our God, have given to us and we will not be removed from it. So now the Reformation begins. Let every single thing that can be shaken be shaken. Shake the heavens. Shake the earth. Shake it all, Lord. Shake it all, Lord. Shake it all, Lord. Shake it all, Lord. Just as we have to sift the flour to make it, sift it all, Lord. And anything that's not of you that does not pass through your finest of mesh, destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Shake the heavens, shake the earth, remove all the religious constrictions, all the political abominations, all the financial control mechanisms. The only thing that remains is God's unshakable kingdom. Fall, Babylon, fall. We command Babylon, you fall. Everything the locust has eaten is being restored. The thief has been caught and must pay sevenfold. You got to hang on to this promise. You got to believe that. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Well, you'll see it when you start believing it. Oh, this is our time of recovery, restoration, and harvest reaping. The the wealth of the wicked has been stored up for we the righteous and we command it flow back to us now. We are the generation that bankrupts the kingdom of darkness, starving it of all of its lifeblood. We call on the host of heaven's armies to assist us as we decree and declare an end to the artificial famine, the broken supply chains, the stoppage of our natural resources as all of our enemies are driven away. We decree and we declare that there is oil in abundance and that price that we see today is a fabrication and a lie. And we speak to the lie with the power of the one who gives us truth. And we command the stoppages be broken now and the evil doers who have lied and constricted and held back supply that their day of judgment come upon them now. We call on the host of heaven's armies to assist us and declare an end to the artificial famine, the broken supply chains, the stoppage of our natural resources. As God's enemies, did you hear that? Natural resources, not fossil fuel. Natural resource, not fossil fuel. It's a natural resource. Why? Because it comes from nature when nature was given to us by God. God formed an earth. He gave us everything we needed. He went and for six days, formed the entire earth, made it a fully functioning ecosystem that would sustain the life that he was about to bring. And then on that day, he created you and me. He said, now go take it, subdue it, occupy it, multiply it, put it under your rule. I've given you everything. Now be fruitful and multiply. There's more than enough. This is the word of the Lord. All the rest is nothing but a lie. They're not fossil fuels. The dinosaurs didn't make them. God made it and he can make more. He's making as much as we need. This is the truth. This is the narrative. And we speak to the Green New Deal, you lying serpent tongue. Shut up in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> We decree and we declare that we have more than enough finance, natural resource, grain, wine, oil, food in abundance to satisfy each and every single one of our needs. Thank you, Elohim. We decree and declare that just as it was in the day of creation, also now in the time of Noah, you are once again reforming the earth, restoring the skies, restoring the waters, restoring the land. So we decree and declare that you, the Lord has thrown his wood into Marah and taking us into Elam. If you don't know what that means, go read Exodus 15. 22 and go a couple verses before and a couple verses after we speak to the earth and we say earth 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 servant of messiah hear the word of the lord swallow up the contaminated waters and bring forth pure springs and living seas earth 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 servant of messiah we command you to swallow up the contaminated soil and bring forth nutrient rich living land earth 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 servant of messiah we command you now to produce our bumper crops and bring forth all of our natural resources, gold, silver, timber, fish, oil, gas, and everything we need for abundant kingdom economy in the name of Jesus Christ. 
And we decree and we declare that now we rise and we shine right alongside King Jesus to take back and occupy our seven mountains. <clears throat> we call on the Lord Sabaoth and the host of heaven's armies to assist us in bringing it all to pass. We've dispatched the host. You've been standing on the ready. Get ready. Here are your instructions this morning to the mountain of religion. And in Jesus' name, we rebuke and rebind the spirit of religion that's infiltrated the churches that is that is that is neutered the power of the gospel. We decree and we declare all false false deluded doctrine in our churches be rooted out, pulled down, and destroyed now. And we decree that the full gospel of Jesus Christ, complete with dunamis power, third heaven authority, the presence and experiential knowledge of God with signs, wonders, and miracles manifest in houses of worship throughout his ecclesias in Jesus Christ's name. To the mountain of family, we decree and we declare the Holy Spirit is sending waves of conviction around this planet to woo the prodigals home. Those in alternative Alternative and perverse lifestyles are being restored to their true identity and the families are being healed. The curse upon our land is being removed. <clears throat> To the mountain of education, we renounce, rebuke, and bind every antichrist agenda being pushed on our kids, and we command them to bend their knee now and confess the name of Jesus Christ. We call back every prodigal dean, principal, council member who once stood for righteousness, all the teachers and professors to teach truthfully, morally, and righteously. We decree and declare that if you do not, if you do not, you take this now as a warning shot from God himself using this voice to put it in the atmosphere. If you do not, Go back to truth, righteousness. It be better for you that a millstone be tied around your neck than to continue leading our children astray. We decree and declare every book, every doctrine that's come against our kids be burnt and revival fire burst through from that fire now and break out on our campuses. We decree and declare national pride for our nation's respect for each other and prayer is being restored in our schools. To the mountain of government, we decree and declare governments do not define the people we rise up and we reject and we refuse your 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 definition <laughs> We will not tolerate the political spirit, and we command it, Jezebel, Deviathan, and every other principality be loosed off of our governments now. We bind it, Lord, you rebuke it. Party politics, we command you to crumble and fall. We decree and declare Jesus is executing judgment throughout our land. God is taking down the wicked and rising up the righteous. We decree capable, honest servant leaders who fear God, hate bribes, and refuse them are emerging into governmental position with truth and justice to which there shall be no end. Our governments honor God once again. We decree that this day. Canada, the government of Canada will honor God. The government of America will honor God. The government of Israel will honor God. The government of Russia will honor God. The government of the United Kingdom will honor God. The governments of nations around this world will honor God. <clears throat> to the whore media, you prophets of Baal, we decree and declare your networks are being dismantled and communication platforms torn down. <laughs> Your lies and deceptions are exposed, and now we build and replant broadcast centers of truth. The new narrative rings forth this day. To arts and entertainment, we decree and declare light is shining into your darkness. We command your cancel culture be canceled, and your dark practices be fully exposed. We decree and declare fair sports, gender correct games, and wholesome entertainment is returning to our sports fields, our stadiums, our screens, our theaters, and our televisions. And to the mountain of business, finally we say to the mountain of business, we declare and decree all those who've gone broke have gone woke you now go broke we decree and declare he who is greedy for unjust gain makes trouble for his household yes lord we agree but he who hates bribes will live we condemn and forbid cbdc's digital ids woke ideologies green new deals 15 minute cities oh in the social credit system we loose them off of us now <clears throat> in the name of jesus christ we call back all prodigal employees small business owners C suite executives to rise up and run righteous enterprises with the king's stamp of approval. We call forth a new breed of kingdom entrepreneurs to rise and shine. We decree and declare that a new kingdom economy based on God's innovations, sound money, honest, fair market trade practices, they come forth now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Thank you, Lord. You're bringing it all to pass. We decree and declare this day 
this fifth day of April of the year 2023, there is now coming forth double faith where there has been doubt, double health where there's been sickness, double prosperity where there's been lack and loss, double righteousness where the wicked have brought evil, evil, double life where there has been death, double abundance where there has been drought and famine, double revival swallowing up every chain that is sought to bind. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, just as the Father sent you, now we say to you, send us. We, this Ecclesia army, we have been summoned. We have been brought to our positions and armed for battle to take our positions to govern, legislate, transact, and enforce God's verdicts, carrying out his assignments. Our victory is secured. We do not trust in our bows. We do not count on our swords to save us. You, Jesus, canceled every charge against us and secured our victory over our enemies of the cross. You disgraced those who hate us, and we fight with you, giving you glory all day long, praising your name. Victory belongs to you, our king. You are our king, and the victory is yours. Oh, we are those who hope in the Lord and renew our strength in you. We soar on wings like eagles. We run and do not grow weary. We walk and do not grow faint. We decree and declare that we are the mighty warriors in you, God, and with our swords strapped on. We go forth in victorious, we go forth victorious, defending truth, humility, and justice, bringing forth godly governance, taking our salt and light into the world, performing awe-inspiring deeds. Today again, as we do every day, we decree once again over ourselves and our nations. In all of these things, we are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. Yeah, we release any and all regrets. We release it. You gotta release it. You gotta release it. You gotta release it. You gotta release it. Don't hang on to it. It ain't from God. It ain't a spirit. It's a choice. We release any and all regret and look not at the former things. We stand fast in our faith, counted as righteous, bigger, braver, and stronger and bolder. For in the day we cried out, you answered us and you made us bold with strength in our soul. We rise in the plans and the purposes and the promises of you, our King. We call forth that which is not yet everything we've decreed here today. We decree these things, thus establishing them. We decree and declare every prophetic word spoken by this ecclesia is coming to pass as we rise and shine and break through prosperity power throughout the kingdom here on earth in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Wow. <clears throat> One more. And we decree and we declare, no matter what the jackals try to do, they will not succeed in blessing Canada, America, in, in, in derailing the blessing of Canada, America, or Israel. No fraudulent administration, no evil regime, no traitorous government, no one who claims to be one thing but is actually another will have any effect on our nations. We bind it now in the name of Jesus Christ. We release our faith today. Release your faith. Put your hands up and say, I'm releasing my faith. I release mine. You release yours. We release it together and we send a tsunami of nuclear detonation into the We release our faith today over Canada, America, and Israel, and declare the Republic of America, the Dominion of Canada, the nation of Israel has a covenant with God, and we are under that covenant today. We are founded because of our love for Jesus. Israel was founded because, because God loved them. We are the three nations founded on the love of God, and we three will take the gospel all over the globe. We bring healing to the nations and unite all nations, and I've heard the gospel from the depths of Africa all the way to Antarctica, from the top of the world to the bottom of the world and all the way back around it. We are the salt of this earth and we have not lost our savor. Canada, America, you will come over top of all this evil seeking to sidetrack our, our nations. You evildoers, we order you down from your places of authority. You are stripped of all authority. You have it no more in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Angel that dethroned Herod, we call on you now. We loose you, that angel, to go and dethrone every legitimate, illegitimate, wicked leader in Jesus' name. That's your job, and we're thanking you now for doing it. What evil people are trying to do to the banks, we stop you now. If we turn over the tables and throw out the money changers, we command that you lose your jobs and positions of authority now in the name of Jesus Christ. We prophesy the covenant of the Lord. God is blessing those who bless us and cursing those who curse us. We are blessed. America the beautiful, one nation under God, the dominion of Canada, the true north strong and free and beautiful Zion, God's chosen. This in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, this isn't just spiritual. This is very physical. <laughs> I am worked up a sweat in here this morning. My goodness, no, I am not going to strip beside you in front of you. I am just trying to get some air in here. 
It's hot as a box as a forest fire in here. Holy spirit, fire is burning. My throat is as raw. Uh, I don't even know how to describe how raw it is. Oh, Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise Jesus. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Wow. Wow. All right, Shirley, you still up for it? All right. So uh, Shirley posted a word into our Telegram channel a few days ago. I'm sure many of you read it. I saw some of you had commented on it. But uh, many of you don't go to Telegram, and maybe it'd be good just for you to hear it spoken over you today. So Shirley reads this word. I'm asking you to open your ears and to open your hearts. And just as I speak this, the shofar goes off. The nine o'clock gun just went off. You just cannot make up the timing of this. Wow. Yeah, you don't hear it. I have it turned down so it doesn't get into the mic. But the, the, I, I, got a, I got a shofar that goes off right on nine o'clock every morning. And it just blasted. But as Shirley reads this word today, Shirley, I'm going to ask you to read it slowly and intentionally. Let the words land so that the words land on you. This is from God to you. I read that. It wasn't just a word. God is speaking to you this morning. He's going to use this word as it comes out from Shirley's diaphragm up through her vocal cords and come out. I hereby anest, uh, anoint and and. and Every single word spoken by Julie, that it, do I, Julie, I know what her name is, Shirley. I'm telling you, my throat's all ripped up. <clears throat> Every word spoken by Shirley this morning. Father, I, I bless them in your name, Jesus. I, I cause them to be anointed by you, Lord, that they land on every heart, every ear, and every spirit to receive what you're saying to your children this morning. In Jesus Christ's name. All right, Shirley, it's all yours. Thank you, Howard. Just close your eyes and receive. God is setting a table for you. Even when you just want to sit in his lap. And be in his arms. I saw myself kneeling down before the Father's throne of grace. My face was to the floor. Weeping and receiving mercy and grace and help in time of need. I was asking for more of him. To spend more time with him. Out of my heart flowed these words. Could you prepare a table for me? Not just the one in the banquet hall. Not just the one at the wedding feast. Could you save me a seat there too, please? Because I need to be there too, my Lord. But could you prepare a table? For just you and me. Could you do that for me? I want to be there. I want to be with you. And spend more time with you. Could you do that for me? Because you love me. Father rose to his feet and gave commands with his hands to a few angels of his. As they hearkened to his commands, 
they quickly set up a massive white table. They covered it with fine linen and started putting beautiful silverware and cups and dishes filled with what looked like some of the finest foods I'd ever seen. I was amazed to see this happening before me. The angel set the table and everything was ready. Somehow I could see, I could still see this unfolding, even with my face to the floor. Asking the Father for more of Him. The Father said to me, Rise to your feet and come sit with me. Father sat at the middle section of the table. And I sat across from him on the other side at the middle of the table. We had the whole table to ourselves. The food was beautiful as far as I could see. But for some reason, this food, as good as it looked, couldn't satisfy my longing. <laughs> couldn't satisfy my longing for more of my king. Father looked at me and said, Aren't you going to eat? I have this all set for you and for me. I put my head down for a moment and I said, Father, please forgive me. I'm thankful for all these things, but somehow it doesn't satisfy me. Forgive me. Father said to me, what? You're not pleased with it? It's a gift from me to you to have this done. Father seemed a little upset. I said, Father, please forgive me. As beautiful as it is, and as much as it's a gift. From you to me. I receive it. And I appreciate it. But I can't explain it. It doesn't satisfy me. Quite 
like you can. Even though all of this came from you. You mean more to me than all of this. Please forgive me. Father, cause the table to grow and expand. And even more food was there. He said to me, is this enough to satisfy you? My head was down before the father. And I said to him, it's even more beautiful than before. And there's so much more. But it doesn't satisfy me quite like you can. Even with the table, even if the table were smaller and there was only one piece of steak there that we could share together, it would be better. Better yet, if there was no table, <laughs> better yet, if there was no table that separated us and I could just sit on your lap. That would be better. Nothing can satisfy me quite like you can, Father. The table got smaller and smaller and it was very narrow before father and me. There was one giant steak for us both. Yet it still, oh God, whoa. Oh. Yet, it still wasn't enough. I wanted him. The table disappeared, but the steak remained on a plate in father's hands. And before I knew it, I was now sitting on the father's lap as one of his arms wrapped around me. <laughs> this is what I longed for. He was the only one who could satisfy me. Father shared his steak with me as I wept, sitting in his lap. With one of his arms wrapped around me, his other hand 
was feeding me from his own plate. And he gave me to eat. Oh! Oh! His other hand was feeding me from his own plate. And he gave me to eat of the meat that was his. The steak and the plate disappeared and now both of father's hands were opened wide before me. He said to me, put your hands in mine and know. Oh, oh. Put your hands in mine and know that I love you. I put my hands on top of his open palms and my hands were tiny to compare to his. Father took his index finger and slowly traced his giant finger over my hands. As he did this, I could see he knew every little detail about me. Even from before he created me. He saw it all before I was ever born. And yet he took in every little detail about me. I told him this, and he said to me, yes, it's true. And every little detail was taken into account. Even the depths of each space between your fingers, my son and daughter. Oh, oh, oh. Know that I love you and know exactly what you need and how you needed more of me. There will be times you sit on my lap. Thank you. And there will be times you will sit across from me, even at the table. Remember, there's a time for everything. And I know what you need.
To know my deep love for you. And I shall save you a seat next to me too. Father held a spiritual birthday cake on my lap. And Jesus came. And the Holy Spirit came too. And they all sang happy birthday to me. I was puzzled. My mind was being blown and it wasn't even my birthday. I asked father, it's not my birthday until July. I don't understand what you're doing. Father, Jesus, and Holy Spirit, and Holy Spirit had smiles on their faces, and I thought it was funny. Even for that moment, when I didn't know what they were doing. I was crying when they sang happy birthday over me. Oh! Oh! Father explained to me my spiritual age and that it was my birthday and that I was growing. In the spirit. In a different way than my natural age. I wept receiving this. Jesus embraced me and hugged me so passionately. I felt his love for me. The Holy Spirit did the same. And I felt his love for me too. We all eat, ate cake together. It was strawberry and it was good. We shared this beautiful moment together. Jesus took a thinner slice of cake and the Holy Spirit liked the frosting. He told me, save me some frosting. The Holy Spirit made me laugh. Father took a bigger portion and ate the only strawberry on top. Oh! 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 I love strawberries. Father giggled and said, 
I love strawberries too. Don't worry. I'll make another one appear on the cake, okay? He sure did. And we shared. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll make another one appear on the cake. Okay? He sure did. And we shared that one together. We all shared this beautiful moment together. Even as Father <clears throat> dropped some strawberry and cake on his long. Oh, oh. On his long white beard. I was able to wipe his beard clean with a damp white hand towel. Father let me and enjoyed it greatly. greatly. He knew it meant so much. to me to have this special moment of intimacy. Oh. He knew it meant so much to me to have this special moment of intimacy. Oh, oh. Oh. He knew it meant so much to me to have this special moment of intimacy with my king and my father who means the world to me. The father said to me, oh, Oh. 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 The father said to me, Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh. The father said to me, No, I have seen. No ear has heard. 
and no mind has imagined what I have prepared for those who love me. I'm gonna decree that again. Oh, oh. The father said to me, No eye has seen. No ear has heard. And no mind has imagined what I have prepared for those who love me. At one moment, father and I wept together. Oh, oh. I'm going to decree that again. At one moment, father and I wept together. His love was overwhelming. Oh, oh, oh. His love was overwhelming. All I could do was cry. He would gently rub his hand over my head and comfort me. Even as I cried, he cried with me and yet comforted me at the same time. He truly knows exactly what each one of us need. Oh! He is not only A good, good father. Oh, 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 He is a perfect father and knows all his children, children in, intimately. I'm going to decree that again. He not only is a good, good father. He is a perfect father and knows all his children 
intimately. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is who he is. Listen, we're coming into Good Friday. We're coming up to Resurrection Sunday. And this is the level of intimacy that he's bought for you, afforded for you. When he said the veil has been torn, what we just experienced was exactly what he was talking about. He knows what each and every single one of us knows, needs. And so I really, I want to encourage you to go and read some of the scriptures leading up from Palm Sunday all the way through his last eight days on this earth. Go read some of that today. And, uh, and get your hearts ready for this. He has prepared a table before you, but there's nothing that will satisfy like he will. And then after he fills you with himself, he'll put you back in the table to get the nutritional that you need. He is so, so, so beyond anything that is good. So I'm going to leave that there. I just want to say one more thing before we close out today's call. There is a national communion taking place on Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 12, 12 o'clock noon Pacific Time. I've put the link in the chat twice. It should be one of the first things that, from my first comment, and it's, one of the, it's the last comment in there now. I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to let you see it, and the link will take you to this where you can go, because you have to register to get onto this thing if you want to participate. But I believe something powerful is going to go down. Lou Engel will be the special guest uh, leading this communion out. Here is, this is the web page. This is actually the web version of the email they put out. I put it in the chat if you want to register. So here you go. National Communion Gathering, April 6, 3 p.m. Toronto time. Declaring the power of the blood over our hearts, our homes, and our nation. I believe that if thousands of us will come together, we're going to see a something go, something's going to happen as a result of all of this. You scroll through that, and then you can say, click here to register. You have to register if you want to participate in it. So I want to leave that with you. It's in the chat. I'll post it into Telegram as well to make it available for all of you. Go grab that link now if you want something to do with this. I'll post it again tomorrow. I'll, I'll remember to, and if I don't remember to post it, remind me of that. Uh, I'm just, I'm not going to open up the call for testimonies or any of that kind of stuff now. Let's just rest in what just happened here. God loves you way more than anything you could imagine or think. You know, he says, he says way beyond. He says, I, you know, I'm the God of all things. You can do all things exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask, think, or imagine. And we sometimes think that, that he's just talking about the power, the great exploits. He's also talking about the level of intimacy that he's afforded to us. I will do for you exceedingly abundantly far beyond anything you can ask, think, or imagine. And all you got to do is believe and seek. Seek and believe. So with that, we've gone long here today. I'm just going to close it down. I'm not even going to go to my friend Jackson today. I just want you to rest in it. God bless you. Prepare your hearts for Passover. We break fast. For me, I just checked the time. Uh, sundown is at 7.50 Toronto. It's at 7.51 Vancouver. So somewhere you're going to be in those time zones, and uh, that's when we will break our fast tonight. Uh, we'll have a great celebration, and I'll just give you a heads up. The Father started speaking to me. There's probably another fast coming on the heels of this one. He's going to give it, not tomorrow and not 40 days, but a little one as we come up to uh, Resurrection Sunday. I believe that we're probably going to have a three or four day fast go alongside with that. Uh, anyway, I'm just, he hasn't given me anything specific. I'm just, I'm sensing it. And uh, I'm just going to leave you with that. God bless you. Rest in the Father today and know he loves you profoundly more than you can imagine or think. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow morning.